If you're a creek fishing fan, especially for smallmouth, get ready because I think this is going to be a good video. There. Oh yeah! Oh yes! Giant fish. I'm at a spot that uh, I fished part of this creek, but I never fished this section of it. I've been told about it a couple times. There's a public parking area here. No trust. No no trespassing signs. There's definitely some area that uh, can be fished, and it looks like it's legal to fish it. So um, in Tennessee, we have a lot of places like this that are. Um, or just kind of those areas out there in the country sometimes that just everybody fishes But it's October the 1st and most outdoorsmen are getting ready to do deer hunting You know, they're getting in a deer hunting mode kind of stopping the fishing and The water's getting a little chilly. The air's getting chilly. It's like 70 degrees outside But uh, those fish right now are really active Man, there's all kinds of fish swimming around over there. I, I think they're bass. Oh Oh, yes, good fish Check that out. Look at that. It's amazing. And hitting. So um, I'm excited. I think we can get some good ones. Oh my goodness, a huge smallmouth right there. That's no way. Oh, that was a good fish. All right, today is not creek fishing. We are bass fishing. I got a, a 16 medium heavy rod. Um, it's, a, it's a 300 size loose reel, 20 pound braid, a 10 pound leader. I'm gonna throw in some, hopefully throw, try to stay throwing some bigger swim baits and some bigger lures. I may go down to some smaller ones, but we're definitely going for some strong, big small mouth. Man. Oh, this water's cold, but I'm gonna, Oh, got to get through it to get to where I want to get to. It's not too bad. I'll get adjusted to it, but it is a little chilly. Yes, there's one. He's not even a huge one. He hammered that thing. Boom. <laughs> I didn't think that guy would go for it. Oh man, I just get started. And oh, that's a pretty fish. A little smaller there. Way to start. Oh, oh, I saw him come out and hit it. That was a good fish. It was, wasn't a giant, but that, I saw it come out of the bank and hit that lure. I thought he had it. Oh man, this is a good sign. These, I think they're fired up right now. Temperature's dropping. Hasn't got real cold yet, but it's start. He hit it again. That's a good fish. How, uh, he hit it again. There's a good one. Nice fish. He's at the back of the pool. I don't even think it's a smallmouth, but it's a good fish. Nice. There, that's what we're looking for. That's, that's not a giant, but that's a good start. Good, chunky, largemouth. Get out of there. There we go. Okay, just a good, chunky, healthy, large mouth. Let's put them back in there. Let's go for some more. Well, we're going to try to weigh as far as we can. <laughs> Turns into a huge, long, deep stretch. Just comes out of nowhere. Sometimes you can uh, catch the big ones out of here. Sometimes you can't. Oh, come on. There. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Giant fish. Yes, yes, yes. He hit it the first, hit it at first and came off. Big smally. That's what I'm looking for. Man, they put up a fight. 
These things fight harder than a, a large mouth, three times her size, seems like. There's a little one behind it. This is a good, good fish. Oh, dude. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if he's hooked that bad or what. He's probably gonna come off right when I get done. Of course I didn't bring the net. I didn't want to carry it, but I, sh I should have known better. These guys, if I, I knew I was fishing for big fish. This is a big small mouth. Let me try to get him to the bank, just so I can control him. Oh, he's hooked good, he's hooked good. Oh my, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, that's just a gorgeous fish. All right, we're going to get a quick weight on it. That's a really good fish. What you think he weighs? Three pound, a three pound smallmouth. Maybe just a hair under three pounds. Oh, man, that's a beautiful fish. Three pounds smallmouth. Out of a creek. Look at that big old tail they got. They can fight so good. It's so fun when a plan comes together less than an hour into fishing. Maybe, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. I went upstream and decided to come back downstream. This deep pool just started waiting and catching both sides and he just hammered it. That is a, that, I'm so happy with that fish. That's great. Now you see why I went with my bass setup and a five inch Z-Man swim bait. I think it's a one tenth ounce jig head or one eighth ounce. It's not a real heavy jig head. I'm just kind of reeling it slow. I think it's just wobbling like crazy. And it's getting fish out of here. I'm gonna keep on going downstream and I'll change up lures and we'll come back with a Helgramite or something on the way back. See if we can pick up anything else. I've been wanting to try this Berkeley El Chapo out anyways, but um, this section through here, it, it's like it can, it turns from a small creek almost to like a river and there could be so many big fish in a section like that there could be several three four five pounders in a section like this now they're not usually going to eat all at the same time but i had a hit a second ago i don't know if it was it must not have been a very big one so I'll, i'm going to switch to this if they hit it they should get hooked Oh, fish on. It's not a big one, but something hit the whopper plopper. Even though I was stuck in leaves. <laughs> oh, is that a spotted bass? I just did the slam, I think. Yep, a little spotted bass. So we got a large mouth, small mouth, and the spot. Little hit. What is this? Oh, look at that warm mouth. That thing's a giant. Well, not a giant, but that's a good, that's a good one. Warm mouth. Add that to the list. Oh, there's one. <laughs> I thought I saw something behind it. I just paused for a second. What is that? The old rock bass. We're just gonna rack up on all kinds of species today. It's a good rock bass. Well, this topwater thing may be something to it. I may stick with it for a little while. Well, I'm either gonna have to just, man, there's a lot of sunfish down through there. I'm gonna either have to turn back and just fish this long deep stretch, unless I can get out and find a way around. But uh, I know that there, this, when there's a long stretch like this, it, there's, there's probably so many fish in there they just don't imagine can't even imagine how many fish are in it just tons and tons of them so i may just have to work my way back up and work fish it a little slower and let it sink down to the bottom because it's it's at least 10 feet deep out there it's like a river well i'm just going to go straight to my best smallmouth catching bait and it's a nico Hel helgamite it's a new color it's a mud bug and i've been rigging it up a new way and uh it took me a long time to come around this this style because i'm too stubborn but um it's been working and plus this hook is is a lot stronger than just the regular ned rig hooks um i used the other day and it it is really strong i've used it a couple times now and i'm 
confident in the way it works and I stick it on right like that just kind of have the whole hook uh, exposed over here but it's right up against it where it shouldn't get caught on anything but it's easy to slide out of the way for a fish to get hooked so uh, let, let's sink this in there and see what grabs it There's one. that's a good fish that's a good one. Oh, maybe it's not as big as I thought what is it whoa <laughs> look at that rock bass holy cow that, oh man that thing is huge goodness that thing is long I did a quick measure on him he was right at nine and a half inches long Oh, man, there's all kinds of fish swimming around over there. I, I think they're bass. Oh, oh, yes, good fish. Oh, my goodness. A big smallmouth. Oh, this may be bigger than the other one. I don't know. Oh, man. Check that out. Look at that. It's amazing. Oh man, I'm just amazed. Just thinking how many fish are in here, but able to catch a couple giants. Man, this guy is feisty. Oh, look at that thing. That is gorgeous. Man, I can't believe catching a couple that big. Just in the afternoon. Just gotta go to the right places a lot of times. Beautiful fish. All right, that guy right there, he's just under two and a half. Just a beast of a fish. Now right, let's sink it back in there. I know there's several fish swimming around out there. There's, there's gotta be several of them over there. Oh, oh. There's another one. There is another giant. Are you kidding? This is unreal. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Next cast. Man, what an afternoon. Just a little stopping at a creek. What a week I've had, though. I've had some crazy catches this week. That's a solid pound and a half. Yeah, I definitely like the way this hook works better. The hook has seemed way better at pinning them and holding them on there. But oh, let's get that guy back in the water. Oh, oh, I got something. What's wrong with my reel? I feel like it's binding up. I think it was, I saw something hit the top of the water right there. I think it was hitting bugs or something as soon as I hit it. Oh, large mouth. Yes! Another good one. Let's see. Mm, mm, mm. These things can fight. Where you at? Oh, there's a there's there's three right there. And I got the littlest one, I think. Nice bass. What a day. Ooh, he's barely in the edge there. Man, he's a pretty fish too. <laughs> that's a that's a good bass to get, and that's like the smallest one so far. All right, 
ain't done just yet. We'll add this little guy to the list. What a little spot this was. Man. Well, I don't know what more I could ask for for three hours of fishing at a brand new spot. Just some crystal clear water, big, big old small mouth, just a great time exploring, especially exploring a new hole like that. And um, I know that, I don't know where you live or what's around you, there's not places like this everywhere. Um, even some people in Tennessee don't have areas too close to them like this. So I, I'm traveling around trying to find these spots and uh, I'm so thankful I'm able to do that. It's just so cool what to, what to see, uh, what is in these creeks right on the side of this road that hole i was fishing is just right down the road you know people going by like crazy they they have no idea how many fish and what the quality of fish are in those and that's why i love exploring and finding out and uh, it, it's just really fun to do so, and i'll leave all the info from some of the stuff i use below those are great fish i love days like this thanks for watching